Welcome. Welcome. Housewives of True Crime YouTube channel. My favorite YouTube channel. It is my favorite too. And if it is <laughs> one of your favorites, or at least in like your top 50, go ahead and subscribe right now so you can get True Crime stories every single week. And actually some like shorts during the week too. We might even pop up even more than once a week. And if you don't know us, I'm Tab and this is Gretch right here, right here. So weird. I point this way, but it it points the wrong way. We're super smart <laughs> and we talk about crime. <laughs> and, we, and we talk about crime and we have a podcast called Housewives of True Crime where we'll give you the details in a longer setting than our YouTube. So check us out there as well. But Gretch is on the mic today. Okay, I sure am. Are you ready for it? I certainly am. Okay, good thing. Okay. Well, Top, this week's crime takes place back in 1990 in Pulaski, Tennessee. Back in 1990, Mary Ann and Larry Hughes were happily married. So most people thought mm. Larry and Isn't Mary that how it mostly is? <laughs> Just kidding. Just saying. Just kidding. I'm happily right? married. And so are you. Well, we complain about our husbands periodically. Well, true. And I think that that is normal. I think it's those people that are all, you know, hearts and butterflies and Instagram vacations that marriages it's are really in the cool. pooper. It's like it's like the White Lotus. See, they all it all comes back to that show. There's Don't they did even such get a good us job started on White Lotus. <laughs> yes. Okay. So. Okay. Anyway, so he lit up the room. She lit up the room. They are hearts and yeah. love all over the place. Okay. Anyways, and. Larry and Marianne's children were all grown and out of the house. And so now Larry and Marianne split their time between maintaining their 100 acre farm and working at the local hardware store where they were part owners. Okay. Well, according to Marianne, it was all business as usual for her and Larry on the particular Wednesday that is in question. She said goodbye to Larry at 5.30 a.m. He was just sitting there having coffee when she left for work. But she came home. He wasn't there. He she gets up she, at 5.30 even if he's not working. He's got a farm early. tab. Oh, true. Okay. All right. There's a lot to do. That's a snooze, actually. Got yeah, up at 5.15 right. today. You did? Every school day, honey. Every school day. That's because you need your coffee. I uh, I push it to 6.30. Well, 5.30 a.m., she leaves for work, came home. He's not there. She said she called up her brother and they went looking for him. But when she still hadn't heard from him, she grew concerned. And so she called the police to report Larry missing. When the police arrived, she mentioned that there was a possibility that Larry, her beloved, mm -hmm. was out screwing somebody else. Oh, oh no. heck to the no. Well, when Larry's friends and family learned Larry went missing, they went searching for him. And as far as Marianne saying he was most likely out screwing somebody, they weren't buying it. Oh, they weren't. No. He's not a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater kind of type. No, they said that was real out of character for him, actually. Okay. But it must have made them question how well they really did know Larry when a woman reported to the police that she saw Larry out eating with a woman about 45 minutes away from Pulaski. Mm. When? Well, she said it was after Larry had been reported missing. Oh, okay. Well, okay. maybe he well, was Mary Ann was eater. like, I told y'all he's screwing around. And she was mad about it so mad that the neighbors had to call the police because she was out in front of her house burning the mattress in the now, front of the house in the front of the house oh my gosh not behind the house on like her 100 acre property no okay. i i'm not 100 percent about that but i'm pretty sure it was out front okay it was somewhere so, very close to the house <laughs> somewhere where they could see there was a mattress burning okay now the police did find this alarming and so they decided to swing by and ask, hey, Marianne, what's with the mattress burning? Mm -hmm. And she told them she was right pissed that Larry had screwed someone on it. And police just kind of said, well, fair enough, ma'am. Yeah, I get uh -huh. it. Unfortunately, 
Larry's body was found in a ditch with two shots to the head about two weeks later. Ooh. Yeah. So sadly, things were extra serial now. And it turns out the woman who said she saw Larry out with another woman, she got her days mixed up. And she realized actually the woman she saw Larry with was Marianne. Oh, oh no. no. Okay, yeah. well, then Larry is not cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Well, that is the good thing, right? We are not fans of cheaters. We aren't. I mean, no. cheaters tend, to, in our in our experience, always end up dead. True. I mean, every cheater or in prison. About, or in prison. Well, lots of signs begin to pointing in Marianne's direction. I would like, think so. The like bullet, burning the mattress? Well, now they're looking at that like some kind of way, like maybe she was destroying evidence. Mm -hmm. Okay, also the bullets found in Larry matched those that were collected from his target range. And they were shot from a gun that just happened to be missing. Oh. Also, Marianne had made some middle of the night phone calls to her brother that were a little sus. And she failed a polygraph test. Oh, well, I mean, I'm pretty sure Marianne is the culprit. Well, if I was playing Clue. If you were playing Clue. I would pick Marianne. I, you would, yeah. I, in the bedroom. I agree. With the revolver. Right. Not to mention, Tab, also she'd recently been flashing some cash and getting all dolled up, which just, it didn't sit right with some of Larry's loved ones who felt this was not the way a real grieving widow should be acting. Mm -hmm. Well, just when you would think the police had all the pieces to make the case to arrest Marianne, Tab, they got distracted for 25 years. Heck. Heck is right. Uh-huh. So that Thankfully, makes it, what, 2015? 15. Yeah. Okay. She well, a lot of time to hide more evidence. She had a lot of time to do a lot of things, right? Yeah. yeah. All dolled up. Happening. Okay. Thankfully, a cold case detective decided to get some justice and rebuild the case. So he went back to the former home of Marianne and Larry because he assumed it was the scene of the crime. And wouldn't you know, the current resident told him that he knew right where Larry was killed because he had come across a whole lot of blood when he pulled up the carpet to put in new floors. I know what you're thinking. That's a head scratcher, right? Well, it <laughs> left detectives scratching their heads too. Like, why had you not called us at the time? He's probably not following the case. No, he actually did know oh, all about did. Larry. Yes, okay. his actual words were, I told my wife when I pulled up the carpet, this is just right where Larry died. Oh my God. Poor Larry. Poor Larry. Okay. But hope of finding blood evidence was not lost because they ripped up the flooring all the way to the subfloor and there was Larry's blood. Of course, now they had to exhume Larry's body to prove it was, in fact, his DNA. But after they did, they arrested Marianne. She pled guilty and is a free woman. But <laughs> <laughs> you heard me correct. She's free as a bee. So to hear how in the heck that all happened, you're going to have to listen to oh, episode my. 193 of Housewives of True Crime Podcast. Goodness, I want to know right now. You guys better go to Housewives of True Crime Podcast because I, how does that even happen? You know, Stranger things have happened, but this one is on Stranger like Things bonkers. and White Lotus. <laughs> yes, on White but Lotus. But it's pretty too. strange. But thank you for tuning in today, and we will be back next week, if not sooner, with another crime. And go to Housewives a True Crime podcast to get more information on this very interesting case. Clink 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 clink.